11 o'clock. We'll have Hamilton County explain a little more. And if you have a strong opinion, uh, drop me an email. You can find it on our website. Let me know if you want to do an interview with Danielle, our nighttime reporter. All right. Turning to your forecast, and you can see it behind us on the radar. Kevin Robinson joining us. A little bit nasty out there tonight. Yeah, especially south of the Ohio River, and now some of that heavier rain is starting to spread its way north of the river. I'll say we all love the holiday lights. Are we ready, though, to rush our way into Christmas yeah, and the holiday? I want the summer to last just a little bit longer out there. We've got wet weather around the area tonight. Fortunately, most of it is not severe, but there are some big time downpours. And given the fact that some of these storms are moving relatively slow, there is the potential for localized areas of flash flooding. That's going to be the greatest worry here this evening from any of these storms. Not that they're going to be severe, but the fact that they're just really dropping a tremendous amount of rainfall. You can see how storms for a while were training and by training we mean basically moving almost west to east over the same areas. And as a result, once you get to about the 71 75 split, there's been some localized areas of flash flooding. And I'll show you why here when you see some of these rainfall amounts that are approaching two and a half, three inches. But heavy rainfall now starting to let up some across parts of Switzerland County. So that is good news to the west of Vivi that rain breaking up, but still pretty nasty through much of Carroll and Gallatin counties. And then right here where we have the flood warning specifically still raining pretty hard, especially on I 71 once you get past the split here going in the direction of Louisville, but it's not much better either going down 75. As you can see, heavy rain now moving through parts of Grant and Pendleton counties and then up north north of the river. There's a lot less action, but there's some pockets of heavy rain up 71 once you pass the Lebanon area going on up towards Washington Courthouse and eventually in the direction of Wilmington, some locally heavy rainfall. Here's the reason why for that flood warning, though. Notice these bright yellow colors. They're indicative of rainfall amounts approaching three inches in some of these areas. So that amount of water coming down in such a short period of time, you are going to have trouble. Now, it seems to be that there's new storms developing here in southern Ripley County that are spreading into Dearborn County. These will likely begin to impact the 275 loop in much of greater Metro Cincinnati. So it's going to be hard to avoid any rainfall around here tonight. Outside over my shoulder, skies are certainly pretty ugly, especially with all that stuff to our south. It's a rain cooled 71. Notice at the airport only 12 hundredths of an inch, but you go 10 miles, 15 miles south of the airport, two, three inch rainfall amounts piling up. So that will be the nature of these locally heavy pockets of rain. It's actually warmer to our north because they've had less storms up near I-70. You're actually in the 80s. Once you reach about the 275 loop and then south down into Kentucky, we've had widespread showers and storms which are keeping temperatures down. I think Futurecast is doing an OK job on trying to show how this plays out. Showers and storms continue south of the river, but I don't think they're picking up on the stuff north. At the same time, there is severe weather tonight to our north, but it should stay up there. Those storms, though, will come in our direction and a much weakened fashion as we get towards mid to late evening and even overnight. So there still could be thunder and lightning through the night, but I'm not terribly worried about severe weather. Most of that fades away after a little bit of a gloomy start tomorrow morning. There could be a passing rain threat for the first part of the day, but by afternoon it's turning a lot less humid out there and starting to feel a lot better for us. So tonight a little stormy out there at times humid 71 the overnight low and then for tomorrow we're at 84 some passing rain early and then it starts to feel better as we dry out and it turns a lot less humid going into the afternoon. We'll top out with highs in the low to mid 80s tomorrow. Here's your seven day forecast and we've got some nice weather coming our way Wednesday, Thursday, Friday starts to get a little hot and then unfortunately it looks like it could be a little stormy around here again going into to the start of this Labor Day weekend. Kevin, thank you. Texas Governor nominee Beto.